By using the product bundle set from Kaching, I've already generated thousands in additional revenue for my own stores. It's super customizable, works with any store design while still being easy to set up. And today I will walk you through A to C on how to actually use Kaching for your own store. There are already over 40,000 stores worldwide using Kaching, so to get started, head over to the link down below and then install Kaching onto your store. I'm going to go for the starter option right here and as you can see Kaching is only going to cost you more if you are actually going to make more money with Kaching. Now if you do want to save 10%, make sure to put in the code how to Shopify and then go for the plan which you want to go for. Now that we have installed Kaching, we will have to first of all activate it on our Shopify theme. To do so, just head over to the left right here and under App Embeds, make sure to enable Kaching and then save this right here on the top right. Once we've did so, we can then create our first bundle deal. Now, Kaching does have four default templates. However, you can fully customize these templates to whatever you want. The template on the top right is going to be a buy X, get Y free offer, so a BOGO deal. The one on the left is going to be quantity breaks for the same product. So if you're going to sell basic t-shirts, then maybe you can use this option right here to basically simply just have quantity breaks and to then basically also show the most popular option and so on. The same goes for this, quantity breaks for different products and then we also have to complete the bundle deal right here. However, we can actually also add something similar onto this option right here for example. But more on that in just a second. For now, simply just choose the actual template which you want to go for. We can then also customize the color on the top right and we can also do this later on. I'm just going to go for this orangish uh, color, so I'm just going to click on choose. And now we can then basically customize the settings and style, the volume disk bundle, subscriptions and a lot of other stuff inside right here. Let's get started with the settings and style. Right here we can set the name, this is only going to be visible for us, so this is only for organization purposes. So I'm just going to name this bundle coffee as we are going to use this for a coffee product. And then as for the discount name, I'm also just going to name this bundled coffee. This is now going to show in the cart and checkout. The block title right here is going to be the text which it will actually show up right here. So you can actually customize this uh, to whatever you want. I just named this save on your purchase. We can then set the visibility. So in my case, I only want to show this for certain products. So I'm just going to select specific selected products and I'm only going to enable this for my El Salvador's premium blend of coffee beans. I'm then going to select this. And as for the markets, just leave this at all. Or if you do have multiple markets set up and if you, for example, only want this to show up in the US market, then you could also select that right here. As for the active dates, I'm going to leave this as the default. And for the variance, this is important if you are going to have multiple variants for your products, you can then basically let customers choose different variants for each item. You can then hide the theme variant picker if you want to, so that you aren't going to confuse the customer essentially. In my case, however, as I'm not going to have multiple variants, I'm just going to leave this out. But if you're going to have a t-shirt with multiple colors, make sure to enable this right here, dependent on your your own preferences. As for the pricing, this can basically uh, customize how you do want to display the pricing. So if you do want to show the prices per item, then this is going to be changed right here. Or you can also show both our prices, which in my opinion kind of feels a little bit overwhelming. So what I usually do is I'm going to use the product compared price and I'm then going to basically, we can, we can also do this, but I'm just going to use this option right here as this feels the most clean in my opinion. Now, as for the actual price and as for the actual deal, we can also customize this, but let's also quickly go over the card settings. So we can, for example, also skip the card and go to checkout directly. If you are, for example, running a one product store, I would recommend you to enable this just to basically have as less friction as possible to actually purchase said product for the customer. As for the style, we do have basically four different style variants. You can see them right here. In my opinion, I mostly like this first one or the last one. They're relatively similar, but I usually go for the first one. The second one also does look really good on some cases. And this will also just depend on your product page, how you do want to style your product, how many offers you do want to have right here. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to go for the second style. We can then change the roundness of these boxes. I'm going to have uh, yeah, something like 16 pixels. We can also change the spacing if we want to, but usually the default settings are going to work just as fine right here. As for the colors, 
So we have performed actually uh, selected these orange colors. In my case, I'm going to go for something more brownish as this is going to kind of represent, uh, represent the coffee beans. But obviously this is just going to come down to your own likings and to your own preferences and how you do want to structure your product page. We can then also customize the typography. So basically the font which is being used, we can then change that here. We can change the font size, font style, and we can basically change everything regarding the font inside right here. Now as for these two options right here, by default these aren't enabled. However, if you would want to add volume discount bundles with other products, then you could actually select that right here. And right here, as, uh, as you can see right here, and this is then basically going to allow the customers to choose other products to add onto this volume discount. This in some cases is going to make sense depending on what kind of products you're going to sell, but I mostly don't actually use this. But what I actually really like with Kajing is that they right inside here also do have a subscriptions integration. So in my case, I'm going to sell coffee beans. And one way of increasing the lifetime customer value would be through selling subscriptions. In my case, I'm going to enable this. And as you can see, now we are going to have this kind of ticker right here. In my, I'm going to say that this is going to position below the deal bars as this feels a little bit more organized. We can then change the subscribe title, subscribe subtitle and so on. Obviously for this to work, you will have to first of all set up the subscription app inside Shopify and you will have to set up subscriptions. In my case, I'm going to leave it as the default right here, but we could for example also change this depending on what we like. So I actually really like this style right here and I think I'm going to go with this one. So by default this is going to be enabled, but they can also always just disable this to have the normal price. Under style right here, we can then change the colors and we can then go ahead and actually go over all of these different deals, all of these different bundle deals right here. The first bar is going to be a buy one, get one free option. In my case, I don't actually want this. I just want to have a normal buy one uh, quantity option. So in my case, I'm going to say buy one, get zero free, and then I'm going to change the title as well, buy one just to make this as simple as possible. We can then change the subtitle, um, pay the normal price. I'm just going to delete this. We can add the batch text, batch style, and so on. More on that in just a second. We can also add upsells, but we are going to do this for the second one right here. So right here, the second bar is going to be buy two, get three free. In my case, I'm going to change this to buy two, get one free, so that this is going to save them 33%, which also, which already is quite a lot. And then as for the title, we will, we will obviously have to change this to buy two, get one free. Now, one thing which you can always do for kind of the middle option to add a price anchor is to actually add a batch style and to add this most popular option. And like this, the customer basically thinks that, okay, this option right here is the most popular. Let's just go for this one rather than the default price. We are also going to save money and so on. One thing which you can then also add onto this box right here or onto add any other box essentially, you can also add an upsell right here. You would then have to select the product which you want to upsell. I'm just going to use this Hario Mini Slim Plus uh, grinder for coffee beans. So I'm going to add that. And as you can see, now when they are going to select the second option, they will then have the option to actually add the grinder at a 20% discount. Obviously, it is also important to kind of don't overwhelm the customer with too many options. So I would recommend you to kind of keep this as simple as possible, but still you can, for example, A-B split, uh, split test this. I, I think adding an upsell in most cases is going to be a good idea to actually increase the average order value. So I'm just going to leave this as the, on this box as an example. As for the third box, the buy free, get six uh, free. Uh, I'm just going to change this to buy free, uh, get yeah two free, just as an example. And we can then actually also add an image right here. And what they've done by default, you can then actually also add a free gift onto any kind of certain box. In this case, they've added this free gift right here and the text is just going to see, uh, say free special gift. In most cases, I would recommend you to actually change the text right here based on what kind of gift you're going to give out. If you wouldn't want to actually add a free gift, you can just remove that right here and you can then, for example, add it back. You can also add an image for this product. So if you are going to, for example, sell uh, let's go with the same example as before. And if you are going to sell t-shirts, then you could, for example, right here, 
add an image of one t-shirt, then buy two get one free, add an image of three t-shirts, buy three get two free, add an image of five t-shirts, just as an example. In my case, I think this actually is pretty good, so I'm just going to publish this now, and we can then actually also preview this inside our store. So right here, as you can see, this is how it is now going to look like. So this is way better than the default option which we had, and you can really kind of improve the average order value which you have. One other thing which I would recommend you to do is to run A-B tests through right here. So with this, you can basically set up A-B variants, and you can then see, okay, does it actually make sense to add the uh, upsell right here, or is it too much for the customer? You can then A-B split test this and you can basically see how this is going to affect your actual conversion rate. So I really hope that this video was helpful. I think adding product bundles onto your store is a no-brainer and you can use the link down below and the code HOWTOSHOPIFY to get ka at a discount. I will see you in the next one.